There's an old saying, something terrible happens when you don't promote. Nothing. You want your business to thrive. You want it to grow. You want it to succeed. But you're so busy doing your day job. Having an easy to follow schedule for all the market activities that you need to be doing for your business is why the marketing calendar exists. So stay tuned for that in this video. Creating a marketing calendar is an important part of your regular marketing activities. It's a schedule that lets you know what needs to be done at each time. During this video, I am going to go through the things that you need to do weekly, monthly, quarterly, every six months, and annually. We're going to cover these and give you a good idea of what your marketing calendar can look like. Whenever you're doing any type of promotion or you're just trying to get brand awareness out there or your name as an authority in your industry out there, it's the content you create and share that is critical to that component. For this, the first thing in your marketing calendar is weekly content creation. Well, what do I mean by that? A weekly content creation calendar includes blog posts, writing short to medium sized articles on your website about some aspect of your business. It includes videos, kind of like this YouTube video you're watching right now. Podcasts, creative graphic elements, creating something fresh every week that you can share is the first thing that you want penciled in on your marketing calendar. There are other things that you need to do monthly. Sit down and craft a dozen broadcast emails. A broadcast email is something that you send to a group of people all at once. It might be a promotion. It might be an announcement. It might be something really important in industry that you want to share that differentiates you from your competition. Or it just might be some additional content that's more long form in nature that you want to share with your audience. The key here is to have a broadcast email go out at least one time per month to your audience, to your clients, to your customers, to your patients, to your prospects, to your leads. Get something in front of them once per month. The next thing you need to be doing monthly is soliciting feedback. There are many ways. You can do surveys, things like that. You can also do the net promoter score. And if you want to know more about the net promoter score, you can take a look at the video at the top. I've linked to it for you at the top and in the show notes. The key is that you want to get feedback from your current customers, clients, or patients to know how well you're doing. And don't, don't be afraid to get bad feedback. You can learn from that as well. Just make sure that it's a standard, repeatable process that you initiate at least once per month, if not more frequently. Be social. At least monthly, go out to your social channels and see how well you're doing. How are the shares you're doing? Are people engaging with them? Are you the type of business that has an active social audience? If so, go through and read what people are saying. This is a great way to know how you're being perceived in social media. And it should be one of the standard things you do at least once per month. If you're doing search engine optimization, that is you have a content strategy and a linking strategy intended to increase your presence on Google and Bing, then you need to have at least once per month an SEO review. What you do through an SEO review is see where you are ranked for different search phrases. And hopefully that is improving over time. The rules for search engine optimization, they change. They change frequently. And you may be up one month and then down another. It's important that you keep your eye on it. So have that in your calendar at least once per month to review your SEO standings. Perhaps you're running paid ads on Google or Bing. If you're running paid ads, you should also be doing a paid ads review. See if they're as effective as they were before. I've also done some other videos on paid ads. You can see those in the show notes as well. Ensuring that your paid ads are working and most importantly, converting into customers, clients, or patients has to be reviewed and checked on a regular basis. We encourage this to happen at least monthly. Now, on to quarterly. Do you have a referral partner program? Do you have some way where if somebody refers business to you, that person referring business is in rewarded in some way, shape, or form. That might be an affiliate program. That might be just sending a nice letter. Do you have some sort of program in place? If you do have a referral partner program in place, this is the time, once a quarter, to review the program, to review the offers that you're giving these referral partners, to review which partners are bringing you the most business, and to be up to date on how well it's performing. Just like any other program, 
things change and evolve over time. Your referral partner program should be reviewed quarterly to make sure it doesn't need additional refinements. We mentioned requesting feedback as one of your monthly activities. One of the quarterly activities you should do is get testimonials. Get people to say great things about your business. Get people to tell you why they chose working with you so that you can reuse these testimonials on your website and other marketing channels. Now this may sound pretty basic, but at least once per quarter, go to your own website and look around. Click on things, fill out forms, read your own blogs. Does the site still reflect your brand accurately? Or is it showing signs of age? A website is something that's continually evolving as well. And you need to check on that thing at least once a quarter to make sure it is an accurate reflection of your brand and business. Now, if you're doing email marketing, and hopefully you are, the automated series of emails that you sent out, the five to seven emails that go out that are used to segment your audience, used to, to see where customers are engaging, used to share your authority, that automated series, it becomes stale over time. The message becomes a little dated. Once a quarter, go and look at your autoresponder. See if it still is appropriate for where you're go sending them. And if it needs some updates, have your writer or copywriter develop an updated series. You may not necessarily update it every quarter, but you do need to review it every quarter. Now in this day of digital, we don't always think about the print component, but the print collateral is still an important aspect of the marketing tools that you have. And if there are things that you hand out or physically deliver that have your brand on them, you should review that. Review that print collateral quarterly. Does it accurately reflect your brand? Does the print collateral interact and enforce what's on your website? Do they feel like they're from the same organization? Do that and update your print regularly as well. Just because you have a box of old collateral does not necessarily mean you have to keep giving it out. You update that print collateral periodically to accurately reflect your brand. Now we mentioned your autoresponder, your email marketing. Once a quarter, do some data scrubbing. What does that mean? That means the contacts that are in your CRM, that are in your marketing automation system, that are hearing from you regularly. Scrub that. Remove the opt-outs. Those that are not engaging, that is they're not opening your emails, manually opt them out. Make sure that your list is scrubbed on a consistent, regular basis so that you're emailing to those that actually engage with your brand. This will improve your future open rates by clearing out those that are not engaging with you. Now, on to every six months. What do you do every six months? Well, there are a few things that you would do. First, plan or schedule a direct mail campaign. A direct mail campaign, depending on your industry, is a great way to support your digital activities. Now make sure your direct mail campaign is brand aligned and message aligned with the digital strategies you're doing. So for example, if you're running paid ads in Google and you run a direct mail campaign, align these so they work together. But plan one of these out about every six months so that you can keep your brand in front of those through traditional mail as well as through digital channels. Every six months, you should also take a close look at your audience. What I like to do is review the brand script. And if you need to know more about brand script, well, I'll link to that as well. Read your brand script. Does it still accurately reflect your organization's brand message? If it's accurate, move forward. If it's not, look closely at it. You want to refine this so that the brand script that is the foundation of everything you create for marketing is an accurate representation of who your business is. Look at that every six months. Now, while not necessarily easy to do during the COVID era, plan an event. That can be an online event. That could still be a physical event, but plan some sort of event every six months. Something to encourage people to engage in you in a different way. If it's through traditional means, maybe there is some form of get together that is appropriate for a COVID era get together, or maybe it's some sort of virtual get together that you have, but plan an event. It could even be a live video stream of something that you're sharing that's really helpful, important, or useful. 
Maybe it's a doctor sharing a certain type of therapy and taking questions back and forth from patients and prospective patients. Put together some sort of event every six months to keep your brand in front of people in a different way. Now, the last thing you do every six months is look at your promotions. Periodically, you may run promotions. About every six months, take stock in those. Are the promotions still valid? Do I want to create a new promotion? It doesn't hurt to create something fresh every once in a while. And at the very minimum, create a new promotion every six months so that you have something new to share with your audience through the broadcasts you're sending out monthly. Now, once a year, there are some things that you have to do as well. We talked about reviewing your brand script every six months. Annually, look at your overall brand. Not just your messaging, but your visual brand. Does your visual brand still seem fresh? Does your visual brand need some adjustments? If that's the case, you have to update your visual brand and update your branding guidelines documents with the changes that you've create, made in the creative presentation of your brand. Create a case study or more than one case study. Get some case studies out there. Once a year at minimum, write some new case studies based on work you've done. Promote them on your website. This way there's kind of a steady stream of new case studies showing up. This will make it a lot easier for those to know the type of work you do and how well you do it. And lastly, at least once a year, put together some sort of promotional video. Now I'm not talking about a video now that like you're watching right now. I'm talking about something almost like a commercial. A video that is polished, that presents your brand in a way that is controlled and has the solid messaging consistent with the branding guidelines that have been created and the brand scripts that have been written and updated. Put together a video once a year so you have something fresh to share. It'll help your sales organization as well. A good marketing calendar includes week-to-week -week activities. It schedules them out, the weekly activities, the monthly activities, the quarterly activities, every six months and annually. Use this video to list out all the things you need to do and at what intervals you need to do them, and then find the appropriate place to put them on the marketing calendar. And I mean it, use a real calendar and place these items with dates so that you're working with those things with your marketing team. I hope this is helpful. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please share it with others. If you had some parts of the marketing calendar that didn't make sense or that you do differently, I would love to hear about it. Put that in the comments. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe and click the bell to see more. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next video.